Hello YouTubies, this is Freddy Cortez and thank you for watching this YouTube video. I want to talk about this flat earth business because it appears to have uh, flooded the alternative community and I have no idea why. Uh, they find a few faults with NASA, some of the lies they actually tell, which they do actually tell lies. Uh, but, I have a number of problems with what they're saying. I asked a question about the season, how do you explain the seasons? I've also got a good question about the moon and sun's orbit. But let's talk about the seasons, right? They claim that during the summer, at least for the UK, um, that the sun comes closer towards us and has a smaller orbit and slows down, okay? And during the winter, it has a larger orbit to cover and it speeds up. Okay, there's problems with your model here. Uh, for a start, the people who created that model uh, were from a long time ago, before they knew about places like Australia, New Zealand, and South America. Right? This is a big problem for you guys because the circumference the sun would have to cover uh, during our summer in the UK, for instance, would be much shorter than the circumference of a place like Australia, right? And then you guys talk about the angle of convergence that causes the sun to disappear on the flat Earth model, don't you, right? So in this case, for people like Australia, the angle of convergence would be massive on this flat Earth model because it's covering a much larger circumference, which I would estimate at this uh, point in time to be 10 times the angle of convergence that would be present for the UK during our summer. Right? You also claim that it speeds up. Well, this is perfect because now you've got it, the sun covering a larger distance and for whatever reason, the people in Australia are able to see the sun from one side of the planet to the other side of the planet on a much bigger circumference uh, than the UK. So the sun is not disappearing for them, but for us, it does. <laughs> it disappears for a number of hours. How do you explain that? How do you get around that? How do you explain how the sun can su suddenly cover a much larger distance, but we see it for longer in places like Australia, but uh, the sun covering a shorter distance People in the UK and Europe see the sun for more or less the same time in our summer that Australia and New Zealand do, who have uh, a great distance covered. And because of the angle of convergence, the sun would disappear on their model. Um, I mean, let's talk about a clock, right? We've got a clock. Let's talk about the world being a clock, you know, 12 o'clock uh, to 6 o'clock to 3 o'clock to uh, 9 o'clock or whatever, right? And uh, from 3 to 9, that's our horizon. That's half our horizon, right? So, the angle of convergence uh, for some, someone like, like the UK uh, would be, um, well, actually, it would be more like a 24-hour clock. So, yeah, so this will be 6, this will be 12, 18, you know, 24, right? And... Um, we got this clock going around where the sun follows it. And for whatever reason, from 10 to around about uh, 5, uh, the sun disappears for the UK during summer. Right? It just it disappears, so we don't see it. The same is true for Australia. But the angle of convergence would state that the sun should disappear much shorter for Australia than it does for the UK because the sun is traveling a greater distance. It would only work if the sun is a sphere. But the sun, well, the, not the sun, but the earth is a sphere. But you're claiming that the earth is flat. So how is Australia able to see this uh, great um, big uh, orbit that's happening for them, you know, like 10 to 5, uh, like the UK is during their summer, if um, the sun disappears because of the angle of convergence. How, how, does, how did they do that? 
How is that possible? It works for them, but it doesn't work for us. <laughs> that's my that's my problem. You know, the the, the the Australia can see their sun for hours upon hours upon hours, like uh, eighteen hours, and they can see it right to when the sun is at you know like ten o'clock at night for for us and them, right? They can see it, but we can't in the UK. <laughs> They're seeing it from a greater distance than we're seeing it from the UK. And it'll be winter for for us. It would work on a sphere, but it doesn't work on a flat it doesn't work on a flat earth model. Can you see my point here? You know, for instance, ten o'clock at night, they can see they can see the sun setting, right? But for the UK it'll be their winter. Right, and their their sun set at uh, around I don't know six o'clock at, at, at night, um, but we can't in the UK during our winter, and it'll be their summer. We can't see the sun, but they can. It makes sense on the sphere, but it doesn't make sense on a flat Earth model. We will be seeing the sun from a much shorter angle than the people in Australia and yet we can't as I said before it would only work if the, the earth is tilted and there's a sphere it, it doesn't work if the earth is flat you guys cannot explain that you cannot explain it away I'm actually going to make a proper video on this because I think it'll just blow them out of the water because there's no way to explain that it, it you're nitpicking, you know, facts, but when it's a, a fact that actually has some relevance and it uses your own science against you, it's it causes a number of problems. That does not make sense. However, I mean, the flat Earth business does not make sense to me at all. Now, some of you will claim, some of you will be quite nasty about this video. I understand uh, because you won't understand the maths behind it. Uh, you won't you won't understand how you know in Australia they will have a bigger circumference for their sun to cover than we would in our summer if the sun was actually coming closer towards the North Pole, having a shorter orbit for us in summer, and going further away for Australia for their summer. You you would agree with that. So I I don't I don't understand how this flat Earth business could actually be believed at all. I, I, I find it a mystery how people can actually talk bollocks about flat earth. I mean, they'll, they'll probably say something nasty about this video, saying, oh, it doesn't make sense. Well, of course it doesn't make sense, because a lot of you are thick as fuck. <laughs> you know, a lot of you couldn't even actually decipher uh, the distance involved for what these people are saying the sun would have to cover and put it in relationship between one country and another. And then we have, then we have the moon orbit, which is even more stranger, because uh, you know if the sun and the moon are orbiting the planet at the same time, there's some problems there. Somebody said that the the sun is going twice the fast as fast as the moon uh, at orbiting our planet. Well, that's great because it would mean that at some point the moon would catch up to well, it wouldn't catch up, but it'd be half the speed. So within a few days, it would actually end up on the other side of the planet for the whole day. And then again, a few days later, it'll play beyond the dark side for the whole night. And even if you, you know, speed it up or slow it down, you know, the moon in relationship to the sun, uh, at 29th speeds of the of 30th of the uh, sun, it would appear to almost follow the sun. So that wouldn't work. At 1/30th of the speed, it would appear to almost stop on the horizon. Almost stop. It would, it would actually appear to be on our side, well, if you're in the UK, it would be there for the whole day and for the whole night. That never happens. The, the people on the flat earth business will actually say it does happen. No, it never happens. i never seen that. I have seen it occasionally during part of the day and part of the night, but never for the full day and full night. Uh, they'll probably come up with some other explanation for that, uh, stating, oh, maybe the moon is now traveling twice the speed of the sun. Uh, well, 
in, in that case, uh, we have some very interesting things happening. We have um, a moon that is literally um, the, well, it, 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 it comes, it travels across our horizon twice the speed of the sun, ends up being there for the full day, well, almost the full day, half the day, travels completely across the sun, and then it comes back during the night, travels around our, <laughs> our globe again. Um, so we actually see it during the full night, by the way. And then we see it during half the day again, where it's traveling around, but that never happens either. Well, all we see is the, uh, you know, the moon disappearing after a while. I mean, it's, it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really seem to work the, on the flat Earth model. Anyway, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to talk about this too much because I want to actually make a proper video on it and uh, use some diagrams uh, for the people who uh, are in this flat Earth business because I think they're full of fucking shit. I think you guys are full of shit. That's what I think. I think you're full of bollocks. And I'm starting to question whether this is some type of, um, you know, their way to try to discredit the alternative community with bollocks. That's what I think that's happening. And I'm sure somewhere out there, these people will come on this video and say, oh, you don't understand. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, no, you don't understand. You guys are the ones with problems. You guys are coming up with these crazy facts and figures uh, to try to claim something. And then you're coming up with some dodgy photos that you photoshopped and trying to say, how do you explain that? Well, you know, you photoshopped and that's how we explain it. Um, I think in my next video, I'm going to need some diagrams. I think that's how this is going to make this video work better because very difficult to make a... Um, a video without diagrams involving topics like this because we are involving people who are thick as fuck. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now. See you later.